Good morning to all. My name is Harsha. Today I brought some important questions of class seven, which are related to math subject. So first sub first question is, what is two up up two upon seven multiplied seven upon nine? We have to find the answer. Then we have to reduce into the lowest form. We are, we will write two upon seven multiplied by seven upon nine. So seven to the fourteen. Seven nine zero sixty three. Fourteen so, and we have find the answer fourteen upon sixty three. Then we have to reduce fourteen upon sixty three into the lowest form. So two seven zero fourteen. Fourteen will cut by two seven times and nine will cut by six sixty three will cut it by nine seven times. So two upon nine is the lowest form of fourteen upon sixty three. Two upon nine here it is option number C will be the right answer. Option so. The second question it is asking find the ratio of 5 kg to 50,000 grams. Ratio can be also written in the fractional form. So 5 kg. So firstly convert 50,000 grams. It is given. We have to firstly we have to convert into the kg. So for converting the 50,000 so for for converting grams into kilogram we will divide the given grams into Divide the given grams by thousand. So we'll divide it by thousand. We'll cut the zeros here. Fifty divided by one gives us fifty. So fifty thousand grams equal to fifty kg. Five kg upon fifty kilogram. We have written here. So five. So then we will reduce it into the lowest form. Means five ten za is fifty. So means one five za is five and ten five za is fifty. One upon ten is in that fractional form. Then we'll convert into the ratio. This one upon ten. So one upon ten is the right answer. Our option number C will be the right answer. So third question is find twin prime number. So what is twin prime number? The prime numbers which have Two consecutive prime numbers which have the difference of two. Let's take option wise one and two. See one and two. One two is the prime number, but but one is not a prime number. So option number A is totally wrong. The second option is two and four. See four is not a prime number. Two is a prime number, but we have to but both the prime numbers should be equal. So option number B is also wrong. Option number C is three and five. So yes, three is also a prime number, and five are also is also a prime number, and they are both consecutive and have a difference of two. Five minus three equal to two. So option number C, three and five will be on the twin prime numbers. Moving to the question number four, what is LCM of forty and forty-two and twenty? So it's an easy question. We know how to find LCM. Two twenty one zero forty two. Two ten zero twenty. Twenty one can't be divided by two, so we'll write twenty one as it is. And two five zero ten. Then three divided by three seven zero twenty one. Five can't be divided by three, so we will write it as it is. And then five seven zero seven. Five and the five, then we will divide seven by seven, which is seven and the seven, and one we will write as it is. So now we will multiply the these given numbers. Seven five is thirty five, thirty five three is one hundred five, one hundred five two is two hundred ten, and two hundred ten two is four hundred twenty. So four hundred twenty is not in the option. So it is not in the option. So 420 is the right answer. You can option number E is correct because it is not given in the option. So that I have 420 is the answer. So for fifth question, it is asking that find the area of a circle whose radius is 14 cm. Finding radius of a circle, we have to do pi r square. Here the value of pi is 22 upon 7 multiplied by radius given 
is 14 and radius square means 14 square 14 square means square means we will multiply the given number by the given number by itself so 14 will multiply by itself 14 14 is a 14 14 is a 1 96 and 22 upon 7 we will write as it is so 196 divided by 7 equal to 28 the remaining numbers are 28 multiplied by 22 so 28 multiplied by 22 gives us 616 which means option number c is the right answer the angle measure between 91 degree to 179 degree c so from 0 0 degree to 89 degree is known as acute angle and 0 degree to 89 degree is the acute angle and 90 degree is known as right angle 91 degree to 179 degree it is known as what it is known as obtuse angle so obtuse angle option number b will be the right answer Moving to the next seventh one question, find the average of 20, 30, 15, 40. For finding average, we will find the sum of this. The formula of average is sum of the given observation upon total number of observation. So 20 sum of, we will find the sum of these observation. 20, 30, 50 and 40. We will divide it by total number of observation total number of observation are 1 2 3 and 4 will divided by 4 so firstly we will find the sum of these observation 50 plus 40 is 90 90 plus 30 is 120 and 120 plus 20 is 140 40 50 100 140 so 140 upon 3 140 divided by 4, 4 3 is at 12 and 4 5 is at 35 is the answer. So 35 is not in the option. So 35 is the answer. It is not in the option. So question number 8 is what is supplement of 120 degree angle? So to find supplement, we will to find supplement. What is supplementary angle? Supplementary angle is equal to 180 degree. To find supplement, we will we will subtract the supplementary angle by the given supplement by the given degree. So 180 degree is the total measure of supplementary angle. What is the given measure? The given measure is 120 degree. Will minus subtract 120 degree from that measure of supplementary angle. So the answer is 60 degree. So 60 degree is the supplement of 120 degree angle. So D option is correct. So the ninth question is find the simple interest if rate equal to 2%, principal equal to 200, and time equal to 2 years. For so finding simple interest, the formula we use are is simple interest equal to p into rate principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time divided by 100 so principal given to us is 200 200 multiplied by rate is 2 percent we we'll multiply and time is given to us to 2 years upon 100 so 200 to the 400, 400 to the 800, 800 upon 100, 800 upon 100 is equal to 8, rupees 8, because simple interest is calculated as rupees, so 8 rupees, D option is correct. Formula of circumference of a circle, so circumference of a circle, we apply 
the formula which is 2 pi radius 2 into pi into radius so option number A is the right answer find the reciprocal so finding reciprocal see you know that numerator is the so 5 upon 6 in 5 upon 6 5 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator so in reciprocal to find for finding reciprocal we simply exchange the places of numerator and denominator 5 is a numerator we'll write there 6 as a numerator and denominator is 6 so we'll write denominator is 5 we will exchange the places of numerator and denominator so 6 5 upon 6 the reciprocal of 5 upon 6 will be 6 upon 5 option number a will be the right answer find the square of 16 see finding the square of 16 means square means to multiply the number by the same number 16 is the number we will multiply the 16 by its same number means 16 is the number so 16 multiplied by same number means 16 multiplied 16 6 is a 36 carry 3 6 1 is 6 7 is 9 6 1 is 6 1 1 is 1 so 6 15 256 is the square of 16 option number b will be the right answer convert 0 0.16 into percent for converting into percent we will multi just multiply the given decimal number into 100 so we will multiply 0 0.67 into 100 7 0 is a 0 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 7 1 is a 7 then we will again 6 0 is a 0 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 and 6 1 is a 6 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 0 will add here. 0 and 0, 1 is 0. So the answer coming is 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, 6, 0. See, point, point is after 1, 2, 3, 4. Point is there. So we will write point in two places after the two places there is point after two places there is point so how many places four places so in the answer four places after four places we will write a point this one two three four here here we will write a point means 67.0000 or 67 percent is the right answer 67 percent or 67.00 is the right answer means option number a is the right answer Moving to the question number 14, what is the smallest even prime number? So, I told, so, the smallest even prime number, you have to learn that it is a 2. It is even also and prime also. Option number D will be the right answer. Then the sum of two odd numbers. Two odd number, you have to learn that every, every two odd number sum is even only. Let's take example 3 and 5 are two odd number and there if you will find a sum it is 8 another example like 13 plus 9 the answer is 22 they both are even means sum of odd number is always even so option number a will be the right answer so friends that much for today class if you like the class please if you like the class please like and share this class and also to subscribe this class so that i can bring more question answer related to class 7 of maths daily so till then take care and goodbye